Hello, tonight I would like to show you how to unbreak, how to fix dead Gal Samsung Galaxy Nexus. The model is i9250. Okay, so I was flashing it and suddenly the flashing process has been interrupted and the phone died. Now it doesn't start at all, when I, it doesn't vibrate, there is no any sign uh, of life. When I press the power button, it stays black doesn't start at all, where is no download mode, where is no fast boot mode, nothing. You see I'm holding power button, doesn't start. So, how do you know if it's not completely dead? When you remove the battery and it, you connect to the laptop, it will, you will hear a noise. For a short while you will see in ports, in unknown devices, you will see the pop-up device. You could see, you could be not, but... So I connect my phone to the cable. You hear the noise. Okay, and uh, I don't see now what it's... In some cases you can see that device here, sometimes not. I'm gonna try it one more time. No, it doesn't show, whatever. So I will show you how to fix this. So on some laptops it will identify itself by like uh, OMAP 4440 device, that model. So, in Device Manager, I go on the top, where is the Action menu, <coughs> here on the top. I will choose Add Legacy Hardware. And just before to start, uh, you can download from the description through this video one file, it's a OMAP Flash Tuna Zip. Another file is a USB Dev U Zip. You need to both uh, to unzip them. And on our flash tuner, it has the USB driver for that OMAP 44 device. Okay, so here I will press next. I choose second option to install the hardware, advanced mode. I press next. Here I keep the same, just press next so the menu stays on show all devices. I have a disk, I press the button, have a disk. I will click the browse and go to my folder where I unpacked my map flash. Actually, it's here, you see. It's a C drive for my flash, USB driver, the DRV Windows folder. I choose that map bin USB in file. I click open. I click OK here. I click OK. Now you have the list of all map different devices. I will choose the map 4460 USB device here and click next. Even if my device pop ups like 4440, that map 4460 will work also for if there is no on that list 4440. So I click next, I click next, and it finished. In your case, because I did already that part. In your case, you will see the window, it will pop up and it will tell you like uh, uh, I press and finish uh, to with options, you, can, you should choose the second option to install anyway the driver. The first option should be do not install it. Okay, so now you have here OMAP 4460 USB device with exclamation mark in a yellow triangle and uh, I will connect my device here. You hear the click noise. I will run USB DV to show you what this device did appear here. It's here. So when I disconnect and connect. For a short while you can see here it became more gray than and after it turned back so it's time to run the
batch file from omap flash folder it's called on the top you can see here the path is omap flash it's the first file what I unzipped and here you can see omap 4462 hs pro I will launch that file now it says waiting for device right I will disconnect the connected don't forget you, sh you should remove the battery don't use it with the battery it's not gonna work as you can see where is the progress here it's sending files to the phone one it's done it says press any key to continue and phone should do that noise connect disconnect connect disconnect this is a very good sign it, it means what phone has been repaired so I disconnect the phone I put the battery back I wanna see if I got my downloading mode so I press power down uh, volume down button and power button I hold them both I you see now it show me the start menu uh, it's a audio mode on the top you can see here audio mode it means if I connect the phone to the to the computer I can uh, flash it using the audio I'm gonna do this or oh, we can just press on start button I don't know if because last time I was flashing it and uh, the flash process has been uh, stopped in the process as you can see everything is fine it's running Android 4.0.1 version and next part I will show you how to update that one so you will need to download the 4.3 I believe it's the latest version of uh, so I will uh, put it in downloading mode volume down and power press together I will connect it from micro USB cable now it will install drivers I will press on skip I already installed Samsung USB mobile drivers so we need to wait a little bit 